everybody came back refreshed and uh, I worked on certain parts of our game. Uh, obviously, I had to readapt in the the red versus grey game when uh, we couldn't play against both and uh, had a good exercise uh, against Exeter. Uh, we had the the national players back in the last few weeks and uh, great to have Tyg and Connor back into the building and now looking forward to uh, uh, a brilliant new season, new competition, like you said, new teams, uh, new format, um, new qualification process. So really looking forward to it and uh, really excited to be part of it. Yeah, a very proud um, uh, South African uh, franchise. Um, you know, they've had a, a really good season. They, uh, they alongside the Bulls, played in, in the last few Curry Cup finals. Uh, both were, were unfortunately away for them. Uh, very t tough to beat at home, specifically in the, in the humid conditions of, of Durban. And, you know, they've uh, put together a, a, a very good squad. Um, you know, uh, an excellent head coach in, in Sean Everett. Um, you know, they, they've got structurally a, a very good program. If you look at the, the Sharks Youth Academy and, you know, they've got uh, uh, some proper players. So um, really looking forward to, to meet them first up in, in which will be a, a first game up north for, for them as well. And, um, you know, uh, a lot of respect from my side to, towards them. Yeah, look, we can't wait to to have our, our fans back from a, a proper match in the in the red versus grey game. We we had uh, you know a, a few thousand supporters in, and and just the noise was incredible. And uh, you know, just when when both teams ran onto the field to to actually experience it, uh, the the away game at Exeter was brilliant to to have around ten thousand people in and. And I believe from uh, the whatever capacity we have on the weekend, um, you know, I believe that all the tickets will go quickly in the next few days. And you know, from a club point of view, we, we love to play at Thoman Park, and um, you know, we, we can't wait to play in front of our supporters from a from a competitive point of view. And you know, it'll be great for for not only uh, the opposition that we play, but also for ourselves to experience the. The old Thoman Park um, feeling, stand up and fight, and uh, like I said, really looking forward to it. Now look, Zeebs was was always a class player. He just continued that way at, at Racing. I'd say he's he's certainly developed his game even more uh, from a maturity point of view and from a leadership point of view. Obviously, the the more you play, the the more experienced you you become, and just uh, small little things in terms of back free play and the way you attack and the way you defend and, and a running line and he's really shared that with, with everybody you know around him and you know we've got a saying that um, you know we, we don't compete with with each other we work with each other and uh, he's been really excellent with with the older lads and the younger lads and if you just look at our squad there's some incredible competition in that back three and uh, everybody's bought into it and, and so is he so really good to have him around the building. It's only about round one in the United Rugby Championship, and you know, the Champions Cup will will follow follow on in in December. And you know uh, what you do throughout the season, you know, needs to prepare you to to get into a knockout game. And every team starts on zero again. And uh, like I said, from a United Rugby Championship, the fact that there's four pools, and uh, you know, only the top guy goes through to the Champions Cup and to the playoffs, and then the next four teams is is whoever's the best from the next 12. So really challenging season ahead. And like I said before, uh, our only focus is this weekend on the Sharks. We're starting at home. Very unknown for, for both teams and uh, for, for everybody involved. And uh, we see it as really exciting, really challenging. Yeah, had a good preseason. It was tough. Um, you know, first two weeks, very much uh, led by the S&C department. And I think we got a lot of work done early on. And then to be able to folks on the rugby for the, the, the latter end of the preseason was was um, was very beneficial for us. I think the whole group in, as a whole has really hit the ground running. Um, I think you saw that from the performance as a result against Exeter that the group of players that are here, they're you know a young, ambitious group and they're certainly hard working and I suppose we're just looking forward to kicking off the season now on Saturday. Oh, it's been a seamless transition from, you know, they're they're, they, they might seem young, but they're they're certainly a confident group, and, and and their abilities is is incredible, you know, from the work that they've done in the academy and the transition through. I think you know last year with COVID, it brought us all very close together as a group as a whole, and I think that that has just eased the transition for a lot of them, and a lot of them, you know, 
they might be in the academy or just moved up to the senior system, but it feels like they've been around certainly for, for the last two or three years anyway. Definitely, you know, over the last few years, I have been building in, in, into that um, more of a leadership role. And I suppose with, with unfortunately losing CJ, Billy, um, Tommy, these lads, you know, they were huge, huge men within our squad. So there, there, there is that gap within there. And I think, you know, over the last few years that there has been kind of a transition period. And yeah, I, I see myself as, as one of the senior players within the group and, and to be able to, I suppose, you know, give some work words of wisdom to to some of the younger lads when 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 you're on the field together is is hugely beneficial i've been there in in that situation and you know an arm around the shoulder or a quiet word during a game you know goes a long way